idiomatic thinking, the blind leading the blind, we see that literally manifested on social media every day. That's what yeah, we no, see. Yeah, we, no, we definitely, we talk, to, we talk about social media definitely encourages it, you know, but I definitely think from what we saw with Jonathan Haidt, societal changes have also affected this too, which is the lack of child play. Child play, back in our days, uh, it was called being a latchkey child, where you basically raise yourself between the hours your parents are gone and they're back home from work. True. And you, you, you even walk to school and come home, you had a key, you and your siblings. Yep. Sometimes a babysitter, but not often. No. Usually the eldest sibling. I had my grandmother. That counts because immigrant culture is the little, right. you know, grandparents live with you. But still, for the same part, you know, you were probably way more independent. A lot of kids, definitely post 9 11, let's just say that, have been basically robbed of free play. They don't, they don't play freely, unsupervised. And that is a major issue. You know, I think that has also contributed to um, people living online in, in to fill the vacuum of not having actual time. And um, parents love that, right? Neurotic parents love that because now... It's safer. Yeah, it's safer. They get to see you. I mean, I mean COVID is the... it's psychologically safer. It's like we were always headed there. And it's fascinating to me that then instead of <laughs> instead of the positive thing to happen, which is like we all go, hmm, let's collectively stop and think about what we're doing. Do we want to do this? No, we shouldn't. And then we turn the ship around. Literally, God is like, fuck y'all. Here's a virus that it makes this exact issue even worse. Right. Because now you're going to have generation of people who prioritize safety so much that if you get COVID, you basically have to isolate yourself from your five-year-old child who you feed through the bottom of the door, like on a plate. Right. You know what I mean? Like people have done that or, or, or having sex with your mask on right. or, you know, literally having children under the age of seven wear masks who are, who the pandemic's not in affecting. Okay. That's... It's just to me that the instead of t uh, turning the ship around on this issue of instilling humanity, preparing children to become adults, this virus literally took the shadow of our last 20 years of digital, uh, you know, digital culture and shoved it down our fucking throat and said, choke on this fucking issue choke on it and and that was our only view into reality to go through this gigantic freaking misty filter and sheesh look at what it did to people look at what it did to media look at what it did to american culture it's distorted entirely I mean, even Fauci recently said, you criticize me, homie, you criticize science. I was just like, whoa there, buddy. Okay, Mr. Fucking Italian Meatball Ball. <laughs> you, you got... You fucking oregano-ass motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> you don't got that much oregano on them meatballs that you could be talking like that, little man. Little bat boy. Little fucking 5'3 having ass. I don't even know how short he is. The dude looks short. He's Italian. Yeah. It's all fucking gusto and chin. Sharp. Sharp. Just the pow. fuck out of here. Why? Because you're from, what, he's from Brooklyn or some shit? Mm -hmm. Nah, you from fucking Jersey. Catch new episodes of the Masses Podcast right here on YouTube. And be sure to support our Patreon. Follow us on Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok where you can find our clips and shorts. The Masses. The Masses. The Masses.